Oh yeah, oh yeah, get on with it, get on with it. Okay, Fritchy, that's enough. That's good, you did good. Go get a sandwich. Go ahead, Fritchy, get... Come on now, get... Yeah, now I think Fritchy's been hanging out in Colorado. What is this? What is this? I'll tell you what it is. It's the end of the age. That's what it is. That's what it is. How you doing? This is Lady Schmo. How you been? I've been kicking back, getting loose, you know, relaxing during the week. You know, right now, it's snowing. The snow is falling. In the FEMA region number three, get the camps ready. In the FEMA region number three, there's a little song in that, isn't it? But anyway, that might be all the video, you know, the FEMA camps. Oh boy, don't get my started. Time is flying so fast. You know, I can hardly keep up with the signs at times. You know, you turn on the news and it's like zap, whap, whap. Time is flying so fast. You gotta say, Elohim, where's the time going? Oh, my Elohim, where's the time going? It's not a little song there. But it is. It's moving so fast, you know. It's old news. By the time you want to make a video, talk about something, it's old news. Let me see if I can make a comparison about the time flying so fast. The time is going by faster than John Kerry can become more stupid. Yeah. I think that's about right. I think that nails it. And I don't apologize for saying that because John Kerry is, is about to, to poke Elohim in the apple of his eye. He has managed, as a matter of fact, to get the rabbis of Israel to call down the wrath of Elohim upon him if he doesn't leave that land alone. John Kerry isn't too bright. Very, very grand understatement there. I think that if you, um, if you look at it like this, John Kerry would be, John F. Idiot, I like to call him, is a perfect example of all the foolish people that Shlomo wrote about in the book of Proverbs. Read the book of Proverbs. Carries all over the place. <laughs> yeah. And while you're at it, get into the book of Daniel. Daniel. Love Daniel. One of my favorite scriptural personages. Great man. Great man. Beloved of Elohim. What did he tell us in his book? He told us that the messenger told him to seal up the book until then, until next Thursday, well, to the time of the end, when knowledge would increase. Has knowledge increased? Well, I think so. But people ain't gotten any smarter. Actually, they're getting stupider. Getting dumb. I mean, look out the window. They're all over the place. People are evolving. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's why at the Olympics, they don't have enough sense to put a wall in between the toilets. <laughs> Man, I go vote. Ay, ay, ay. You know, the snowboarder. Hi there, figure skater. How you do? Oh, never mind. Ooh, deal. Oof. Don't get me started. Do you think that knowledge has increased? Do you think we can confirm that, you know, by, with, you know, looking at the signs at a time? I think we can. I think that that is one of the signs that knowledge has increased. It's obvious. Let's take a look and see. Maybe we can confirm that. Ooh, let's confirm. Let's confirm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There he is. Look at there. There's my friend. There's my Novi, the Novi of Elohim, Daniel. If most people would say the prophet, but prophet is actually a word that has pagan origins, so we say Navi. 
which is a Hebrew word for prophet, or you know, someone who uh, is a uh, a navi. Believe it right there. And I love Daniel because he's the one that told us that knowledge would increase. Now, before we go any further, I want to dispel or, you know, uh, 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 say that, you know, if you're upset that I used the word stupid before when I talked about knowledge was increasing but people ain't getting any smarter, you know, remember this. I'm not judging their hearts, but a tree is known by its fruit. So we have permission from Elohim. To look at the fruit of the tree. And if you know, you know, if they, the fruit isn't too swift, you know, you got to say something. You know, we we got a lot of bad fruit out there, you know, in, in, in Washington, D.C. right now. We got a lot of bad fruit. So I just wanted to, to say that, you know, and if anybody gets upset that I'm using certain words, well, you know, like, you know, if the shoe fits. If the shoe fits. Now let's take a look and see. If uh, on the internet we can look at something that may show us that knowledge is increasing. Let's take a look. But not some. That's, you can go on that website and look and see how many meteors and fireballs were reported. All over the country. You can check it out. You can go there and, and look how many fireballs were there. Imagine in 1952, say, that, you know, you, you're a little kid. You know, you say, hey, Dad. Um, can after we watch gun smoke, gun smoke, um, do you think maybe we can check out and and check out the fireballs? You know, what's your father gonna say? I don't know. Fireballs, we gotta see what comes out of grandpa after a trip to Mexico. I don't know. I mean, you couldn't ask that in 1952. Let's go check out and see how many fireballs there were. How many? Hey, mom, you think we had any meteors today? You know, she'd smack you with a noodle. You know, she'd make me spaghetti smack rap. You can't ask that question in 1952, but. In 2014, ah, snap, snap, oh, let's see how many meteors there were, of course. I was thinking, you know, about that, you know, if you was a kid in 1952, and uh, you're so different, the world, you know, back then. Could you imagine, you know, in 1952, you come home from school, where, of course, the worst thing you could do was chew gum. I give up. And you come home and you and your mother says to you, Son, what are you gonna do after after you know you, you do your homework? You're gonna do something after you do your homework and you say, Yeah, mom, I'm gonna go on the web and I'm gonna Twitter and I'm gonna Google. And your mother looks at you like you're a nut. And not a noodle in the face, smack. You're gonna Twitter and you're gonna Google. On the web? Were you hanging out with the fruity spiders? Come on. You couldn't say those things in 1952. Hey, Mom, I'm going to tear it up. And I'm going to Google. You get beat up in the street. You know, you say that kind of stuff. But today, huh, you know, you can check out the fireballs. What, what is that? What is this? I'll tell you what this is. This is a place you can go on the internet, if you want to know where the wind is going. That's right. You can find out on the site which way the wind is blowing. East, west, north, south, where's the wind blowing? There you go, 2014. You want to know which way the wind's blowing? Smack what? Right on the internet, you can find out how many fireballs, how many meteors, the earthquakes. You got There's a live earthquake uh, website where you can find out how many earthquakes there were in the past 24 hours. We just had a 2.1 in Kumchatka. Kumchatka, we just had a quake in Kumchatka. Sorry all you Leonard Bernstein fans out there, I could not resist. But there you go, you know, I mean, people weren't worried about which way the wind was blowing in 1952. They was worried about fried apple. And, you know, you had to be careful when you asked about the wind in 1952. Especially if, you you know, you were hanging out with one of your older male relatives. You know, you end up pulling a finger. It was a different time. 20 years ago, even. You, you didn't know these things. You couldn't find out, you know, 
how many earthquakes there were. It's insane. It's crazy. The, the knowledge has increased, as the scriptures has told us. And that's, you know, just the fact that we can do all these things so fast, you know, knowledge would increase. And what was the other part? There would be running to and fro, you know. Everything is increased. The speed of things has, has, has increased. That's right. It's crazy. It's crazy. Let's take a look at this. Ah, and then there's good old YouTube. YouTube, where you can watch anything and everything. My goodness, you probably got, you know, if you want, get uh, 2,000 videos about the uh, pine cones. Or, you know, what, is a, what does a possum do on Groundhog Day? Or, you know, my trip to Little Pamplona, where we watch the goosing of the bulls. For goodness sakes, you got everything, you know? And, uh, but you, know, you got a variety, though. You know, it's weird stuff. And, you know, you got a lot of good prophecy teachers on YouTube. It's better than television. You know, what do you got on television? You know, you got, uh, oh my goodness, Mori Povich. How about going back to 1952 and showing the Maury Povich, you know, how many babies the daddy got and how many daddy the baby got and, you know, Akta Lieber got. Oh, hey, for, for goodness sakes. I mean, Maury Povich? Come on. You know, and of course that uh, begs an answer to the question, what's the matter with Connie Chung? All in a dream. All in a dream. And I felt like Nancy Kwan. I was thinking about what Jack Sue had said. I was hoping it was Connie Chong. There's about seven people out there on the planet that understand what that is. That's for you. But, you know, they're, they're YouTube. That's another thing, you know. All over the world, people can put up videos like this one right here by Levin Shimo. Courtesy of Zeus Moshebenda and his silly brother Fritzi. You see, that's another thing, you know, people couldn't do that in 1952. I mean, not, you know, people couldn't imagine these sorts of things, something like YouTube. And like I said, you know, a lot of good things, a lot of weird things on there. Gotta be discerning for when you watch these things. I mean, think about 1952 again, you know, what was the weirdest thing? on television in 1952. Let's see. I think it might have been this. Yeah. That was the weirdest thing on television in 1952. Uncle Milty in a dress. Lady Gaga should look so good. Right? But that was it. You know, that was the strangest thing you might have seen. Well, there was Liberace. Yeah, there, there is that. But you know, it was a it was a, a time of, of simpler things, you know. You know. Uncle Milty in a dress, you know. Uncle Milty in a dress. Uncle Milty, where have you gone? Now we know which very wind blows. Uncle Milty in a dress. Ah, days gone by. And I just thought that was interesting, you know, those ideas were playing on my mind like a synthetic hawk after a meal of sticky bones. You know, going back in time and, you know, the 1952 and thinking, you know, how people would react if they could see the technology of today or hear the things we say. You know, I'm going to Google, I'm going to Twitter. Oh, you get smacked. But that's it for now. I just want to say one more thing, you know, if you haven't come to the point in your life where you have accepted Yeshua as your Savior, you got to do it quick. These are, the, these are the times, perilous times that the scriptures talk about. Got to get into those scriptures. Save your life. All of you out there, you know, that are weary or, you know you know, scared or worried about things. You gotta read the scriptures. They they come into your heart and they brighten your day. You don't know how that happens. It's a miracle from Elohim. You just gotta give it a chance. You gotta reach out and grab it, you know? You gotta get high. You know, that's life, high. 
that he's waiting for you. He's knocking at the door. Knocking at the door. And he will come in. And he will sup with you. And you with him. And it'll be like a new day. So just ask the Savior Yeshua into your life. Say, I'm a sinner. I need you to help me to clean up my life. Simple as that. Simple as that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little video. Uh, I hope to be back soon. Live and small. From good old FEMA Region 3. <laughs> zip, zip, whip. Now you be warned.